Hi, I'm Dom Famularo. And I'm Paul Quinn. And we are here in Music City, Nashville. The National Association for Music Educators is extremely excited to be here at this great music convention. You know, check out some of these clips. We had a great session today. We talked about some pretty cool stuff. We talked about music as a second language. We talked about the concept of how you protect yourself, how you copyright, and how you look after your sanity. Very exciting, and we can do this at a college near you, at a university. Bring it on. We want to come by and see you and talk to you. Go to thesessions.org. Check it all out. We'll see you real soon. And look up the Sessions panel on Facebook. We love you. Take care. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, the other thing to remember about Facebook is Facebook is a community tool. The whole thing of Facebook is to get the people to start talking back and forth. Not just read your thing and go, I like it. It's about getting a conversation going. And the more conversation you can get going, the longer the threads are. The more engaged people are. And the key word is engaged. If you're just using Facebook as transmission, forget about it. It's got, there's got to be engagement going on between you and all your fans. How do you differentiate your brand from those that you're competing with? And I don't mean just other music programs, but what's attractive about your brand that's going to help you recruit students for your program because you're, you're competing against a sports program or you're competing against all other activities that are out there that are both inside the school and outside the school. What's important is establishment of the brand and being consistent with the brand. We're going to talk more about that a little bit later. Is loving it to your core is something that will get you far. It will get you through the cold nights and the paychecks that aren't as big as you want to be and the band members that quit and the kids that, you know, decide they don't want to take your class, as Rick said, because they'd rather be on the football team, you know. But how much do you love it? And that's one of the things that history can help you fuel. If you go back and you find genres that you love, artists that you love, that you can listen to, they comfort you, they inspire you, and then hopefully you pass this on to your students. I'm absolutely delighted to be standing here in front of a group of teachers, potential teachers. I come from a family of teachers, and I think it is a very high calling, so give yourselves a hand. So I was creating my own style. And I took that in the studio with Billy Joel. And with the 11 albums that I made with him, I always, well, the guys were getting their sheet music and writing down the chords to his songs. I was getting his lyrics because I wanted to know what he was saying in a song because I believe a lyric will dictate what you're gonna play on your instrument. Like, I believe that you're gonna play a song called I Love You Just The Way You Are, nice and soft, as compared to a song called Angry Young Man or I Hate Your Guts So Badly That I'm Gonna Drive Your Parents Car Through the Front of Your House. You can use a lot of double bass drum and China cymbals on that one. <laughs> so my whole thing about music was learning what goes on around you. Don't be just focused on what you do. Learn what goes on around you. The reason you have to understand entertainment law, especially as a teacher, is because, frankly, you're not going to be in the bracket to be able to afford to hire a lawyer for every small thing you do. Right? Now, I mean, for the big things, you know, when the big thing comes around, do what you do, but you are going to need to understand how to protect yourself, how to protect your creation, how to stop you getting sued, how to protect your talent. And the reason I put always negotiate at the front end is, Take care of everything before it happens, not after it happens. Because if it's successful, it's almost impossible to get it fixed afterwards. So life really is about what you put into, what you will get out of it. How hard do you want to work to really make a difference? If I asked you what the essence of life is to you, what's the essence of life? For me, it was to matter, to make a difference. And that became the journey. You are making a difference just for the fact that you want to get involved in music education. You're already making a difference. You're taking a journey that's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. 
if you're already involved with teaching and you're com coming up with solutions to try to divide the class up to find out how I can get these kids going, you are making a difference. This is huge. Commitment is a word that you got to understand. Once you commit to this, you're into it. You're into it big time.